So let's start this series, open up the Epic Game Launcher and simply launch the Unreal Engine. So Unreal Engine is now opening. So Unreal Engine is now opened. So we will start with a blank project. So make sure that blank is selected. Okay, then blueprint. Okay, select blueprint. The target platform will be desktop, maximum quality, and the starter content must be checked. And then here you have to provide your project name. So I will just give it name as first first person shooter game. Now here you have to understand one thing. As you know that the name become too much big, so it will show you that project name must not be longer than 20 characters. So it must be below the 20 characters. So I can just remove the game from it and our project name is first person shooter. By default your project will be saved at this location. If you want to save it to any other place you can select that path from here. Okay, I will go with the default location. So just click create in order to create our first Unreal game project. So the project has been created successfully as you can see that. Now it has some default uh, content. Uh, let's check it. I mean whenever you create a game in order to test it you have to click on this play button so it will run the app. So the game is running now and you can move your mouse around and you can see that this is our player. Okay. And he is mo moving and checking his environment as you can see that. So yeah, uh, this is our basic uh, project. Of course, we will add the character and all the things step by step. We are going to learn everything about the Unreal Game Engine and how to create professional games using Unreal Game Engine. Now how you can uh, come out from the game mode or you can simply say how to stop the simulation as you can see we have no cursor as we are inside the game and we are moving with the help of our mouse as you can see okay at every direction as you can see that so how we can stop this you can stop it by simply pressing the button on your keyboard and the buttons are shift F1 so press shift F1 and you can see the cursor okay so we come out from the game mode I mean we can see our cursor now if you want to stop the simulation you can move your mouse here on this red button okay and it also the shortcut button for stopping the simulation is scap so by pressing the scap button you can stop the simulation or you can just click on it with your mouse and it will stop the simulation as you can see that so as you know that this is just the default view which come with this project which we created the first first person shooter game now how we can add our own uh, that is for example the character or let's say any car object or any uh, other object in our this project as I told you we will proceed step by step so for that purpose first of all you have to click on this content drawer we are going to create inside here a new folder okay so right click here and here we have to just click on this new folder create a new folder and we will give it name as FPS blueprints FPS blueprints now let's open up this folder so double click on this FPS blueprints now we are going to create some basic blueprints so right click here and we are going to proceed with the blueprint class and it will be character and you can see that a character is a type of pawn that includes the ability to walk around so click on character now we are going to rename this that is give it our name we will give it name as my 
underscore FPS underscore character okay so my FPS character right click here blueprint class and prayer controller we are going to create so a prayer controller is an actor responsible for controlling the pawn used by the player so click on player controller and we are going to give it name as my underscore FPS underscore player controller right click here and blueprint class all classes okay extend all classes and simply search for game instance this one game instance select this game instance and click on select and we will give it name as my underscore FPS underscore game instance press enter so my FPS game instance now let's proceed and assign these blueprints to our project so for that purpose you have to just click on this edit and then project settings then go to the maps and modes click on maps and modes and in here if you scroll we have game instance game instance class so just click here and here we have to assign to it our game instance which is my FPS game instance blueprint okay so just assign it here like this so now close this and go to content drawer and now we have to create the game mode class so right click here blueprint class and here we have game mode base so game mode base defines the game being played its rules scoring and other facets of the game type so just click on this game mode base and let's give it a name as rename this my fps underscore game mode my fps game mode we have to assign our this game mode as well so click on edit go to project settings maps and modes and here we have default game mode so from here you have to select your my fps game mode which is our game mode class so just select that and then simply close this now let's create the game stat so right click here and blueprint class and inside the all classes you have to simply search for game state base this one game state base select this and click on select button and let's rename this we will give it name as my underscore fps underscore game state my fps game state and then at in the end we have to create another blueprint class and that is basically hard class this one select hard and click on select button and let's give it name as my underscore fps underscore hard so now just click on this save all button in order to save all of these so click save selected now all you need to do is open up this game mode okay my FES game mode so double click on it in order to open it okay so this is our game mode okay my FES game mode and now here you can see this game state class so click here and we have our own my FPS game state then after this we have the player controller class so click here we have our my fps player controller then we have the hard class which is my fps hard then the default pawn class we have to change to the character which is our fps my fps character okay so default pawn class is my fps character so now all you need to do is click on compile and then simply click on this save okay 
So click save and simply close the game mode. Now if we run the game by clicking this play button, okay. So now you can see that I am not able to move with the help of my mouse, okay. The camera is not moving because we are going to develop our own game using our own character. For that purpose we have created our own blueprints and we have assigned our blueprints to our project settings. Okay, that is what we what we did in this video.